so hello everybody this is gooberry and welcome back to the continuation of valheim so in the last episode i had showed you guys our construction a building construction and uh, the problems associated with it like uh, terraforming the land causing too much uh, no, cpu usage etc not cpu usage per se but lags specifically to because the this game it uh, it's not yet uh, completely fixed it has uh, every time you come back to your base it reproduces the original land like for example here i've mined out some area so every time i come back it will reproduce the original terrain and then it will once it reproduces this terrain it will then switch over to the terrain that is uh, this right now mined away and excavated so it does double the amount of work and because of that uh, it does uh, lag quite a bit until everything uh, loads so so yeah that was uh, that brings us up to speed of what happened in the last episode where i showed you guys some of the building uh, constructions and the plans going forward and then coming up to speed right now what ended up happening was i did a, a little bit of test run because uh, stuttering was a little annoying uh, it kept it keeps reloading frames uh, over and over while i'm uh, inside the base itself and coming back to the base every time was a little bit of a pain in the ass so what, I, what ended up happening was uh, i did a bit of a test run on my own uh, going to the swamp for uh, to the sunken crypts etc and then i found that every time i came back it was uh, lagging and it was being annoying because you know we so your home base should not be a place where it lags a lot uh you will be returning uh very frequently to constantly you know uh, store resources etc and so essentially what happened is uh, my base is uh, i mean it's completely uh, irreversible damage has been done to it uh i mean right now as you can see i'm just flying around just so that enemies will avoid me but okay getting back to the topic uh yeah so it's irreversible damage even if i remove my entire base uh, the land was so far excavated that uh, you know every time i come back to base it will be uh, reloaded over and over again and frames you know i don't know based on how the game is built uh, depending on my vicinity how the terrain will be uh, you know rebuilt over and over so yeah there's no way of preventing what the stuttering and lag into it frustrated me to no end so i looked online and then i saw that everyone is suggesting that uh, the, all the major uh, forums etc are suggesting that uh, do not build a large bases it's not uh, a fix I mean, there are no uh, performance fixes uh, on that as of yet so what ended up happening is i started a new map essentially i gave up on that map i just left it uh, as is the project is there it's uh, a huge mess so i decided like you know the, all the roof mechanics etc was such a pain in the ass that maybe it would be better if you just start a new uh, map so as you can see over here uh, this is the the original map uh, the, we started we started off at the, the altar as always aikthir is here i just finished aikthir a few minutes ago uh so essentially what happened was i built a raft went all the way i mean i i so another thing that <clears throat> that i noticed was i have till now uh spawned two maps random generated i mean using some names of my own and both those maps were just so awful with the placement of uh now i thought that maybe it was a uh, you know just like that uh, the map random map generator was so bad at uh, making maps that it uh, makes all the maps uh, in a similar manner and that's why i had to run so far away just to get uh, metals etc that's not the case there are it uh, my the the seed the map seeds that i chose was such so horrible i mean even in this case it could be horrible but uh, the, yeah so i uh, you know i random mapped a few times to see a, a world that will be a bit more suitable and in this case i actually i loaded up i completely put an explore map uh, using the cheats to see whether you know it is uh, viable 
uh, feasible. And as you can see over here, I saw that the bone mass is, you know, over here. Uh, I mean, yeah, while it does seem it's like it's far away, the thing is, uh, what you know, what you don't know, what I know, is that we are right now on an island. A small part of the land that I was able to, you know, excavate quite e easily because there was already some inlet rivers. So, I said I just excavated this one part, small part over here that uh, was covered in land, and that made it an uh, island. And uh, you know, because it's a naturally made island now, uh, and it's surrounded by rivers in every direction. Like no matter where I want to go, I need to have a harbor to go, which was the original plan anyway. So, uh, having uh, done that exploration, I started the game, and I reset the map. Uh, so, which is why, as you can see over here, even though we have that bone mass and etc., which I saw uh, somewhere, you know, I found the marker someplace. I forgot where. We uh, I mean, I knew exactly where to go. So, I built a raft. I went. I took it all the way here, uh, and I said we uh, we started. Uh, what did I do to the raft? I don't know. Yeah, I think I destroyed it. Yeah, I destroyed it, and then I built a long boat afterwards. But essentially, what happened is I took some of the material that we had in the old game, and uh, said, yeah, since we, I mean, we abandoned we are abandoning that game. I duplicated those items over here in this new map, and uh, I made a fortress over here. Which is not like a big super complex, uh, you know, because we faced all those rooftop issues in the last uh, map. So, having said that, let's just uh, have a look at what I have done till now. I am sure I've been talking a lot, so let's uh, you know, leave that off. So, for one, as you can see, this is the point part that I told you. We have the river inlet there, and then we have a river inlet there, but then it stops here. So this area I excavated to complete the island. Uh, this is actually the Black Forest uh, region. This is not our meadows. I would have preferred if it had been meadows because right now, you know, we also have trolls walking by. And the only reason they don't attack me is because I'm not standing too close to the walls at that time. But yeah, uh, that was the case right now. And also, yeah, the iron gates, etc. You know, I just built them out of uh, using cheats. I'm not interested right now to, you know, keep going and... Uh, mining uh, iron just for the sake of building stuff like gates etc so uh, it just it takes a toll after you mine so much and then you run across the entire maps i i hope that in the future the game actually brings about a random not just a world seed but also the map size because um, you know it's not just multiplayer we also have solo player options and uh, i i mean after i've had my eyes opened after I did, uh, you know, I did the explore map cheat to see, you know, if there's uh, if my maps were the only ones which are messed up or if all maps are messed up. And then I find out that uh, my maps, the choices that I made were really horrible. Uh, each of those map seeds was really horrible map seeds. So I found one which is somewhat you know, easier. And as you can see, we came in from that direction. This is where we have the crops. Uh, I actually, the, the reason that there's a fence, I initially built a stone uh, wall and then I left for a while and then I came back to find grey dwarfs uh, running inside my uh, my compound. Just freely running inside. That also two star grey dwarfs. And then I was, uh, you know, I thought, I was wondering why, you know, I, because I built work, workbenches everywhere and yet they came. So I just, you know, just for safety reason, I built another workbench over here. Uh, you know, these trees, I, I grew them myself. I planted seeds in the ground and then uh, I built them. And uh, so, yeah, so I saw online it says that uh, you need to have a fence, a proper fence, because if you don't have a fence, then, uh, well, yeah, if you don't have a fence, then uh, grey dwarfs will come and uh, an enclosed fence, then they'll come and uh, they'll spawn in your base. They'll try to attack, uh, destroy your crops, which is why it's uh, that is happening, I guess. I built another uh, set of uh, you know, stake fences, which is ridiculous, it's stupid once again, because just like the roof, uh, roofs requiring actually ro actual roof tiles, this any enclosed space should be considered as a uh, enclosed you know space. So this should also be a sort of fence. But okay, you know, maybe they should pick up those ideas from uh, Minecraft. It does a really good job. 
so this is the crop area and just adjoining the crop area we have uh, set here we have this is the seeds planting area location i will plant all the seeds in the future over here in this area so here as you can see we have this pole with uh, two of these labels over here uh, seed plot let's put let's light up our torch seed plot and meat to eat uh, yeah meat to eat boars so i spawn i actually spawned the boars in what happened was i uh, built a ramp over here uh, because you know we are in the black forest area it's not easy to get a boar so i spawned a boar but what i did was i built a ramp and then i tried to uh, you know after i had a look at uh, a tip on how to you know make the breeding continuous because uh, it seems apparently that uh, each plot has a limited number of uh, animals i think around six or something wait let's see how many are there here three six around nine and i said around six or something like that or seven but we have a little bit more than that but anyway so yeah it's only a, we are only able to um, have that many so what they did was they built a small platform on top so you know the boars would uh would uh reproduce and uh, the babies would and there will be a tiny gap on the side that the big boar will not be able to fall off but then uh, the small piggies piggies will be able to drop from the top which will you know give us a endless a large supply of uh, boars uh, constantly in the ground floor but you know what yeah these are boars I, I don't really give a damn we can keep uh, reproducing them whenever we want uh, it should I mean Plus, these are two star bows. Each of them give four meat, so it should be more than enough meat for us. This is another enclosure over here that I've built uh, for you know any animals in the future. It's a bit smaller. I don't know. I was thinking maybe wolves or something like that. But yeah, having said that, here we are. This is our new base. Uh, I hope you guys like it. This is not the front. This is actually the side of the building. Uh, I built these. Uh, is coal bra braziers the moment i saw them i uh, you know i had to build that because i uh, i don't really like i mean the the normal uh lanterns they use resin but seriously i mean resin is uh, easily i mean you don't get that that easily you have to keep collecting it from all the gray dwarfs whereas coal we can easily get wood and make coal in the smelter uh, in the kiln sorry so yeah this is the front of the building and I decided on the coal braziers, they're more easy to maintain. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, we have a set of stairs over here and a small gap, and then another set of stairs, making it look like, a bit like a Roman uh, uh, building architecture. But at the same time, the top really makes me think of uh, you know, Japanese style architecture. It really is reminiscent of Japanese architecture. Of course, the window on top, I it's not just semi closed on the top. I just opened it up because you know it's easy for me to use my flying cheat to get uh, get out uh, here and there uh, when I'm uh, when it's open you know if it's closed I'm not able to do, do that I, I should run back down and then uh, you know do whatever I, I have to do and yeah before we go inside I just wanted to show you some other things so we saw the crop and we saw that uh, animal plot over there to its left over here uh, I mean, after the tree and the little workbench at the bottom, uh, this is the forge. This is the uh, smeltering and blacksmithing area. As you can see, it's a, a small building inside which we have uh, two forges, two smelters, forges, yeah, forges, yeah, and a kiln over here. And then I built the forge table itself over here. So we have a forge table over here with all the ex uh, am amenities and a, a simple workbench over here. Because you know, yes, we want to repair stuff, etc. A lot of things require workbench, so that's that. And then we have all its corresponding, uh, you know, chests over here. Like this is for ore. This one is for. Oh, do this not. Yeah. So as you can see, oh yeah, I've labeled it. The top one is coal and wood. The wood make coal and uh, the bottom one is stone and flint I was, I was thinking whether you should i should switch the flint over to my other chests uh, because the chests inside this area are all pertaining purely to uh, blacksmithing 
so you'll have ore ores are here we'll cover all the ores and there's uh, the metal the metal uh, refined metals are all placed over there so yeah that's the that's it for the smelting area as you can see i hope this design looks good enough yeah, it seems pretty good yeah instead of increasing i actually started off with this then instead of i was thought you know maybe oh god i'm gonna again once again face the issue of uh, roof tile problems so i ended up deciding to make a elevated decline uh, sort of uh, roof tiling to make the building look smaller in uh, footprint and i ended up coming up with this i thought this ended up looking pretty good i was actually planning on making this the portal room but then uh, I thought maybe the portal room should be connected or a bit closer to my house. Plus, I also wanted to build the smelter uh, metal area close by to the harbor. Because my this is an island. And as you can see over here, this is the harbor. Oh, the tree is now blocking a part of the actual vision. But okay, fine, whatever. This is the actual harbor. And uh, yeah, let's run inside normally. Let me collect this again. Okay. This is the actual harbor. We have a stone cutter inside here. Because, you know, in case the stones get damaged, I will need to repair it. And, uh, yeah, we need a forge over here. We need a workbench, but we need a forge over here to repair these beams once they get uh, eroded, I guess. Right now, however, since they are under the roof, they're not getting damaged so you know i think that that's a one good thing uh, and you can see they are all reinforced walls and uh, these areas also reinforced so i have a small stair it's a stair here i got to build a stair okay so the general idea is build a stair on each side uh and then let the boat come come into the right into the middle and i have these wooden uh, reinforcements which will also serve as the damage uh, takers in case the boat you know rams onto the stone uh, this place i don't want the entire this foundation over here to fall off uh you know i have protected it a bit using a uh, stone foundations at the bottom like oh there you can see you can see there's a bit of stone at the bottom but yeah having said that uh i built uh, i mean i didn't completely build i spawned two uh long boats and i built one long boat on my own i crafted one so this is the longboard that we have crafted and uh, this is the longboard that we will be using uh, frequently. So I am supposed to, you know, still take in the cart. Ooh. Works in the first try itself. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. We got mine. Man. There's a ghost controlling this part. Uh, no. Oh. Uh. Come on. Yes. I so much. Come on. This is it's a bit harder in the case of a long boat. Get the what I'm trying essentially I mean I think you guys are under, understand already how what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get uh, one of the parts uh, handles go through okay, wait to go through the center mast because the center mast helps to hold the cart in place Aha. there you go but the, there's a few problems with this as you can see over here this center mast unlike the car it has this little uh, foundation placeholder which prevents objects from being uh, pushed close to the mast then uh, yeah and the thing is the car is like perfectly designed in a sleek manner to hold a cart right in the middle. But this is a little bit more open. So when you're in the rough seas, uh, you will, uh, I mean, the cart will eventually get loose and, uh, you know, just move around. 
I have not had it fall off yet, but I hope it doesn't do that. Because then uh, one of these days I'm going to face a lot of issue because of that. Because I'm going to lose my resources. So I prioritize storing resources inside this storage box. And all the extras, uh, smaller items I put in the cart. And yeah, so that is the part for, uh, for docks. Yeah, our docks are enclosed. That's the center area, which is slightly open. And the rest of it is all under roofing. This is how, this is where our ships will be parked in our permanent harbor. Uh, in case in the future, you know, we have other players also join us. And as you can see, it's day 38. I spent many days uh, building and, uh, you know, rebuilding stuff. Rebuilding our house. Oh, this. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. All right, I guess. Let's take a snapshot for the YouTube. Okay. Yeah. I think that looks good. Except I wish uh, she had sat down facing the camera. Rather than always looking around, she, she doesn't like looking at the camera. Really hates that. Alright, anyway. We've done that. I think we're good. Uh, so yeah, that's for the that's the blacksmithing, the crops and the harbor. Next, let's get inside. I have left some of the things for future, you know, when we get the resources, we'll make it slowly. So here, this will be the throne room. Uh, the flags are set up and the uh, the braziers over here, the coal uh, braziers over here. I, you know, the one problem with the coal braziers is they make smoke, a lot of smoke. So I had to open, I mean, this outlet over here. Uh, initially, I had the braziers right in the middle over here, which is where you'd want to place for the most ideal lighting condition. But they give a lot of light. But unfortunately, in placing them there now, means they only provide light to a limited amount of area so I had to place some extra lighting uh, poles which use resin but you know what, no problem it's not an issue, big issue in the future I will replace them also with coal braziers it's relatively easy to make but here, so the thing is I made some holes over here and this will send the smoke on top and it will prevent it from uh, smoking my hall so that's what was happening for some time and uh, yeah I've made some small designs. Hey, the hell? Oh, do I have any resin on me? And yeah, here's my uh, some of my chests, uh, the trophy chests, etc. These are all the common resources uh, pile. Uh, ammo and armor is over here. Uh, I didn't build a separate kitchen this time. I have built it within this building itself, which it comes to the first floor. So the first floor will be my personal space and the kitchen. Uh, so here, I have, you can see over here, I built a little spiral staircase, staircase over here, which I, I actually saw a bit of a tip from a, a YouTuber regarding this spiral staircase, how, how, you know, somebody had made it on Reddit, so, you know, kudos to you, this was a very good option, it makes it look a little, really good, instead of having a general stairs, which, uh, will you know i can make a st spiral staircase out of that it's also but it consume too much uh i mean space valuable space inside my house so this was a good option now having said that this is the top floor oh hey you it's done the ones inside are not switched on uh, and as you can see the moment after we, we enter inside this is the hearth i have i have uh four uh, meat grills one uh, stove. This is the uh, food and the potions uh, spot. I'm going to make another chest over here, uh, specifically for potions, so that I can make these two chests completely just for food. So there's plenty of food that we can make. And uh, yeah, this place over here is all the raw. And right now I'm I'm storing the extra food inside this uh, one of these reinforced chests. And here's my naming convention for. Uh, my symbol signals i mean what are these called signposts yeah <laughs> big brain fart right there uh, so the signposts to show what is what and as you can see oh yeah i have uh, 
I have yet to rename these uh, the other two, but the first we are saying saying meat base. The second one says extra cooked meat. So this is the first chest and this is the second chest. Similarly, for the next thing, forage, veg, and meat. This is forage, veg, and this is uh, meat. And then the last one is farm crops and the spices. The reason I call it spices is because you know these are just ingredients that are added for the as a recipe uh, ingredient. It's not the main meat. So you know they're like spices, I guess, except for the entrails. I think the entrails are also ingredients, but not spices exactly. But you know they're semi, uh, they are the side ingredients, I guess. And as you can see over here, this stone blocks over here that I've placed. This is what I was talking about. At the bottom, I, I you know those two coal braziers that I placed uh, beside the throne room. The smoke comes up here. Initially, what happened was I built a, a plus point over here with the hearth and a chimney. You can see inside, there's a chimney going away in an inclined plane as always outside. And then what ended up happening was uh, smoke started filling in my main throne room after I placed those braziers. I had to you know build this extra little. I thought maybe you know. Place it beside the throne room, build this little extra thing, make it look like a nice uh, grand uh, foundation for my kitchen uh, hut. And at the same time, use the same system. So right now, um, the what's it, hut uh, braziers, you will give smoke out of these uh, two areas. It, uh, as you can see over here, there's a roof inclined uh, tiling over here. So smoke comes up from here, gets in, in uh, gets to the center via these inclined roofs and then it, all of them exit through one chimney instead of having individual chimneys for everything one chimney for rules them all so to speak so you know i'm avoiding a lot of things at the same time it looks good as well uh yeah and having said that we have these fermenters the last time the fermenters you know barrels i was unable to place them on top of each other what the hell okay a second i thought these took damage they looked a little grayed out but yeah i was not able to place these fermenters on top of each other which was mind-boggling to me but then i realized okay fine uh, thing is when you want to place something on top of a support object you need to be at that level so you need to build something like a staircase or something stand on top of it and then build these so then i built that and then i broke down the staircase uh i could also fly but you know Let's do some some stuff on our own. Uh, so having said that, wait, where did I place the meat base? Meat base is placed. Uh oh, meat base is here. So let's uh, let's make some medium healing. So yeah, right now if you see, we have meat based tasty, meat based uh, healing, and meat based poison resistant. So. Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of poison resistance already running. I have around 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, fine. We have around 8 spots for building uh, healing potions. Okay, so now it's done. Now that it's running, once it's done, yeah, as you can see over here, this is a meat base as well. So I have to transfer the meat base over from uh, this location over here over to this location. Because this, this meat base, it, it is close to the fermenter, the place that we were going to do the fermenting of the base. Meanwhile, the uh, you know materials for proper cooking will all be here in these locations. And uh, yeah, I mean, having said that, that's the end of... Uh, I built... A, so another thing that I saw was there was some sort of bug. I, I'm not sure if it's fixed or not. But uh, apparently the if you build chairs, tools, etc. Then it will uh, cause a bug where the comfort level is completely reduced. Until you build a table. So I built uh, these two chairs first and then I built a table as well. To increase my comfort level. As you can see my comfort level right now is 10. Yeah, so 10 gives me a lot of uh, around 17 minutes of rest time. Which is good. And then the last bit of our uh, base is the portal room. As you can see, the portal room is to the right of the throne room. Uh, the, you enter inside, 
and towards the right there's a little entrance over here go through this and we enter the portal room so this is the one that is connected right now this connects to the altar this uh, portal connects to a swamp uh, bone mass location once we go there we will build an alt uh, altar over there as well this portal is for the black forest and this is for the mountain these are all just future proof and what i did was uh, i built a portal for my uh, oh, I want to build one on the other side but this is essentially for my bedroom just so you know I don't have to every time I come from somewhere I if I want to store the spices and resources I don't uh, I mean going here is one thing to store the resources inside the chest so here but then if I want to store food items I need to run all the way up the stairs even though the stairs is conveniently and small it still takes time to run up the stairs etc so instead I'm going to set up a portal as long as you don't have metals on you uh, the portal i mean you're not going to store metal on the in the bedroom anyway so when we whenever we come out of any of these portals we can quickly access this portal and get to our uh, bedroom let's see how well it works though because uh, these portals take some loading time I'm not sure if the loading time is the same even if uh, you know whether it's uh, the other portal the destination portal is far away or nearby if it's the same then uh, it's going to be another pain in the ass but you know whatever and uh, yeah and you know, having said that there's nothing much more to say over here uh, since uh, this map was uh, this is a new world i need to still destroy uh Aikthir and then go on go onwards to bone mass i feel like okay so yeah the I haven't yeah you will not seen this not not much to explain but that's the same my uh, eight honeybee hives that we had from uh, the old game uh, map so my character has all the in information and uh, stats of the same of the old map not one uh, new person playing this entire world that will be a complete restart of the game which I don't want to do uh, so yeah uh, so we have these beehives they're plant they're making plenty of honey oh oh 2020 it 40 30, oh, this is 300 seconds though you know what i'm ha i have so much honey that i could use this i could use honey as the replacement food to eat when I'm, you know, at home or some place where I want to have some stamina, just for the sake of some stamina, but I don't want to daily spend a cooked food. Mm. And yeah, another thing that happened was so I was a, uh, I was building after building that entire the old uh, house and then finding that it was uh, lagging like anything, I was a little pissed off. So what I did is I just ran over to the plains area, and now that I know that those mosquitoes etc are there. I quickly ran by the plains. I uh, came across a, a goblin's camp. I mean, yeah, a goblin camp. I quickly ran through the go goblin uh, camp. I didn't bother to attack anybody because I knew it's going to kick my ass. And, uh, you know, just on my way back, when I, you know, with all those goblins chasing me, I came across a house with something purple glowing in it. And then I just grabbed it and came back and then I found it's called a fueling totem. I'm guessing since it says the channels are ancient power of Yagluth, this will be after our mountain escapade. So we are going to do bone mass, then we're going to go to the mountains. And once we have uh, done with the mountains, we'll be going to the plains. And uh, this fueling totem, we'll be collecting more of it, I'm guessing, for the plains escapade. So yeah, having said that, my next uh, deal dealio will be with the elder. And once that is done and we are ready for the uh, bone mass, I will uh, cut back to the you know, to this video. And you guys will see my little battle with uh, uh, bone mass, which will, I mean, this time it's going to be a relatively shorter episode. So the next episode would probably be bone mass fight. Uh, and yeah, having said that, I hope you guys like my, uh, like this video. I mean, I hope uh, these, uh, I mean, the effort put in. Because, you know, I've played this game now for about uh, three days straight. Uh, just purely this game. And, uh, I mean, three days. One and a half days to make this. This entire uh, 
construction monstrosity and uh, around uh, four days or more for uh, my uh, other base that we built and uh, that uh, totally got wrecked because of the game's uh, CPU I mean usage and uh, optimization issues in general but yeah I mean it's not a very really big loss I mean I felt it was okay you could rebuild again so I rebuilt everything again and I've uh, generally duplicated almost every item I mean some of the items I still have to duplicate a lot of items that we had over there I'm trying to maintain the resources that we had over there uh, and uh, you know since I was do while I was doing my testing uh, of you know the lag situation etc I did uh, you know go through some uh, get some ore etc uh, from the crypts and swamp locations etc so as you can see over here we have uh, an, an extra 60 plus 20 uh, 80 ore still pending uh, you know smelting while uh, we have all our metals over here that's so I you know I spawned uh, some of the bronze that we you know when I was uh, building and re uh, rebuilding it uh, destroying it it uh, you know it uh, came out as materials when I uh, destroyed some buildings by mistake and you know I just decided what the hell uh, anyway I'm going to convert the copper and make bronze and grind that this will be a pain in the ass so I'm just I just kept it this stack over here around 25 bronze is extra we have had we had 60 before so 25 uh, extra plus sorry 63 then yeah and the metal yeah this is what uh, if you remember in the last episode we showed you like uh, around 60 or something like that uh, over here and then the remaining was uh, I've used some for the brazier etc for the rest of them uh, we had around three stacks so yeah this is the rest of them that is placed here why is it smoke so much yeah see uh, as you can see over here it smokes so much but yeah that is it that is going to be it for this episode guys uh, this is going to be probably our base for the near future as you can see this is how it looks from the outside uh, fortunately when I'm using this uh, cheat mode I cannot uh, ah, I can't uh, you know have the character facing my direction when she's flying especially Ugh. I hate the I hate the wet animation so annoying but yeah I hope you guys like this uh, let me know in the comments what you think about uh, the current build I feel like this is uh, more modular at the same time uh, oh shit yeah while maintaining modularity of you know everything in its own separate building reduces the amount of roof tiling as you can see over here I had the similar roofing issues over here somewhat and then I decided, okay, let me just uh, make it all, you know, uh, keep a set of these sort of arcing uh, roof uh, tiling just to prevent uh, prevent the need for, you know, further expanding on this is starting to get tiresome. And then I made some modifications here and there. So, and finally, you know, it looks like a, looks like a Japanese architecture, if you have to, if I have to say. This is, that's what this reminds me of. But, yeah. Now that we are uh, in a black forest area, I am coming across uh, trolls, but just one or two since, you know, we have not yet uh, destroyed the elder. I just uh, got the god Aikir. So once I'm done with the elder and I'm ready for the bone mass, we will start continue in our next episode. And until then, uh, if you like this video, like, as always, press the like button. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Till then, bye-bye.